Hello everyone, Finger here from Bar Formation and Happy New Year. It's officially 2024 and uh, yeah, it's time to update the city. Uh, I don't think I showed this in the previous update, but recently I sort of made this turn to be more uh, pretty, I suppose. But um, yeah, I built this. It was supposed to be some sort of skyscraper, but I lack pieces. So it's about as high as a modular, uh, as you can see. I mean, yeah, they're about lined up here, and they're about as tall. Uh, it's a uh, flat iron building, as you can see, that I based off of a design I made in Minecraft, of all places. Um, the roof is pretty interesting, because it just sort of sits on there. It's an angle, and it doesn't entirely fit. Like, there's gaps there, but it's cool and stuff, and yeah, I want that in my city, so yeah, that turn is going to have to go. So my idea was to grab one more of these knockoff base plates that are fully dark gray you know the same as the knockoff base plates that are in here replace that corner um somehow place the building on it either with the angle facing this way or the angle facing you know the way of a flat iron which would be that way sort of um, i want to do it like this because well the ugly side i don't want to expose that as much I'm scared if you look at it like that it's either gonna look a bit weird i don't know does this look weird it sort of does but then i'm scared like if i have it like this also not only you can see this side which i mean would be facing the wall because when eventually this goes into the other room the wall will be well there so i don't think it really matters but i'm just you know it, it's not that thick of a building it's only 10 studs wide i believe or 11 studs so Maybe, maybe 12. Yeah, it's 12 studs wide, so it's not that thick. So if you have it fixed on the middle of a base plate like that, the police station would be here. There would be nothing there. So I think it's going to look a bit awkward, but we're just going to have to see. So we're going to pull out that base plate, which will be pain because it's hard to get here with that table. But um, yeah, let's just do it. Um, walk over here. Let's just do this in one take. So it costs me less editing time. That sounds like a bright idea. This is very loosely connected, so let's get rid of that. And yeah, that's all safe. And I'm gonna have to put you guys on a tripod now for the next uh, part because it's not gonna go well with one hand. Maybe actually, maybe actually it will. I mean, never mind because I can just put the plate in like this. There we go. And then I either put it in. Oh, the crane like that, which I think will sort of ruin. Well, I don't think it actually ruins the skyline if we just quickly pop that out. I think it actually works quite well, but now let's see. Well, I'll just put this on the floor actually, because it's, I also have to carry it again. But if we put it more at an angle, for example, like this, I think that already looks way more interesting uh, than just having it flat towards this side, because if we have it like that, there's a very apparent gap, and I mean, from this side, it looks very good. But if you look at it like that, it really doesn't, because it really feels like half of the building is missing. I mean, we could always put that there, but I don't know. Um, let's just experiment with this a bit more. I'll try to experiment a bit with it, and I'll, I'll see you guys when I have it all finished. All right, people, I'm here in my mess, and I sort of created a little base plate for this building to go on to. I've decided to place it like this, so the police station will be over there, and the construction site will be over there. I've added this little wall, but I'm um, not sure if I'm going to keep that, because, I don't know. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to try and fit it in. Uh, flower Park is over here, the street is still continued, and I suppose I want a flag here, because, I don't know, it looks cool. <laughs> Uh, let's see if we can borrow one from uh, the police station right there. So let's see uh, how this looks. I'll put you guys in a tripod, this time for real. And uh, yeah. All right, I'm bringing in the base plate. We got our oh, some fences in the way. Let's get rid of these. Obviously, this is going to cross paths with the construction site, but I'm just going to have to work around that. I'll attach the wall real quick. There we go. Uh, you might notice this entire lot is empty. There's no tiles. It just didn't bother because one, I don't have enough. And second, um, you're not going to see it because 
it's not the main angle you're gonna view it from. And with that placed, this is what it looks like. Uh, the crane is obviously still on the floor, uh, which speaking of the floor, I really need to clean in here, but I kind of really like it because it does definitely show that the building is on an angle from most sides because you can see it slope or yeah, slope's not the right word, but bend, I suppose. Um, and yeah, from the main viewing angle, which is just right ahead, you can definitely see it's a unique building. And when you're going closer to look at it, which is sort of the idea of the city, because there's usually a crane here, so you can sort of look around. Oh, 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 shouldn't lean against that. Okay. <laughs> uh, you can usually just sort of look around, bend over to see all the little details, which, you know, is sort of the idea of the city. So when you bend over, you can see that it's a bent building, which is, or an angled building. I'm just going to have to connect the construction scene a little bit more, but yeah, this is going to be a fun. I should probably remove this uh, zebra crossing there because it's not going to make sense to be there anymore because the road is gone. Speaking of the road, I think I entirely scavenged every single part of it. Those tiles are supposed to be in that bin, but I needed specific ones and I didn't feel like fishing them all out, so I just threw them all on the floor. Yeah. So, um, I think that is it for this update. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, happy new year and subscribe because we want to hit 500 subscribers this year. It's probably not likely, but hey, let's see if we can do it. All right. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and we'll see you next video. Goodbye.